Welcome to the Flavor Chef, where love is the ultimate spice. I am your Flavor Chef, Lance Roll, and I will be hosting this show today and teaching you how to cook. Today we're gonna to be teaching you how to cook one of the very first recipes I ever learned how to cook in my culinary career called spaghetti ali olio. Ali olio is simply a term for garlic and oil in Italian. We're also gonna be adding tomatoes and basil. So this recipe could be called spaghetti ali olio pomodoro con basilico. Today's recipe, spaghetti ali olio, begins with olive oil, Italian olive oil, fresh garlic, crushed Carmelita San Marzano tomatoes, some fresh local tomato, beautiful fresh basil, Italian parsley, crushed red pepper flakes, sea salt, black pepper, pasta, and we're gonna finish the dish with beautiful grated Parmigiano Reggiano. So today we begin by slicing the shards of garlic. Simply place on the table, and we wanna make nice across the grain, beautiful slices. We're gonna use all five cloves of garlic because the garlic is key to this recipe. You'll see later as it infuses into the olive oil. Second, we're gonna have some fresh tomato. I'm just gonna cut that into a nice dice, nice and ripe. And this is just an addition from the original recipe because it just adds a little chunk and some beautiful sweetness. We're gonna use a little fresh uh, chopped basil. So we just wanna take the leaves off the tops. And we're gonna sh sh slice that into a chiffonade. It's very important in this recipe to have all your ingredients ready before you start. The other herb we're gonna use is some fresh Italian parsley. Chop up the leaves only again. And of course, we're gonna have our fresh, freshly mashed Carmelita San Marzano tomatoes. We take them nice and whole, bring them down to a nice mash so they create a beautifully consistent sauce. A little spicy with the red pepper, some salt and black pepper to season. We give in, begin by giving a nice coat of oil in this pan. Little sound effects, always helpful. We want a good amount of oil because this is an oil and tomato based sauce. Next, we add our shards of garlic. We want them to start to sizzle. We're going to toss them around a little bit, get them nice and level. First, we're gonna add a little salt. We put it right into the oil again to infuse the oil with the flavor of the salt. We're gonna add the black pepper. That's gonna infuse some heat in there as well. Nice little sizzle happening. Then a nice generous pinch of red pepper flakes, depending on how spicy you like it. As you can see, the garlic is starting to brown. We don't wanna let it get past brown. And then we're gonna to toss in our herbs and these will sizzle. As they sizzle, they're infusing their flavor. That was the parsley. Here goes the basil. We let that infuse into the oil as well. Then we will drop in our fresh crushed tomatoes. We want to stir that around and cool it down a little bit. But you can see the tomatoes already begin to change color. The flavors are all coming together in the sauce and we're gonna let that boil rapidly. At this point, we really need to drop our pasta. Okay, about eight minutes on the pasta in salted boiling water. Go ahead and stir that in. It's important that the pasta has some room to move around and that the water is salted so that the pasta can absorb some flavor before it gets into the uh, sauce. And again, this is one of the techniques that I learned early in my career in 1988 and one of the reasons why my food becomes so flavorful and I became known as the flavor chef. Flavors are all infusing together here and you really don't need to turn the heat down. You actually wanna keep the heat on high and let it really simmer in there. Fresh tomatoes 
is the love we're gonna put in there. This local, beautiful, sweet tomato. It will stay quite chunky and will give some beautiful texture and uh, just some interest to the sauce. On what you can't smell on TV is the smell of this beautiful dish. When you wave that dish towards you, you'll smell that beautiful garlic and those herbs and tomatoes coming through. And that is the smell of aliolio and the smell of amore. At this point in the pasta dish, you can see that most of the liquid is gone. The sauce has been cooked. The tomatoes have changed color. So we'll turn it off and wait for the pasta to finish. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drain the pasta. No need to rinse it. Just toss it, get all the water out. Drain our pasta, put it into the sauce. What we wanna do is accomplish a nice coating of the sauce and the pasta. We wanna actually let it cook in here for a minute as we toss the pasta. We wanna let that sauce coat the pasta in the pan. A little more olive oil in there. Help give it some shine and some flavor. Okay, we're gonna bring the pasta over to the bowl and turn it out. We did this many times at Sapori de Mari with penne, with spaghetti, aglio olio. You put those beautiful tomatoes over the top. Man, does that look good. Sprinkle a little parsley on for garnish. I'm gonna do a little fresh grated Reggiano cheese. let them know we put a little basil in there. Okay, voila, love is the ultimate spice. Okay, as you can see, making spaghetti pomodoro al olio is very easy to do. Simple ingredients, you just have to have your mise en place ready and just put a lot of love and amore into that pasta and you and your family will enjoy this for years to come. This, like I said, I've been serving this dish since 1988 and my clients and friends and family love it when we cook it. And it is truly, truly um, delicious with very simple ingredients.